I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on advanced functions. I have created a test paper with 15 questions. Here is question number 11, which is very important application question. It says a certain income tax system takes 10%, this is not one, 10% of the first 5,000 meet, 20% of the next 30,000, and 40% of the rest. Write a piecewise function to model the amount of taxes paid according to the income. Right. So there are three slabs. So when the, the value of x is between 0, I mean you could include this, and less than or equal to 5000, in that case it is only 10%. So in this interval, the tax rate t of x we can say is equal to 10% means 10 over 100 of the x value. So I could write this as 0.1x. Clear? So that is the first interval. But when the value of x is from 5000, uh, we should not include it here, but up to 30,000, that will be included. All right. So higher the income, you should pay lower amounts. So this is included in the lower amount. So in this case, the tax will be how much? Well, on the first 5,000, you made a tax of 1%, right? So, so it's kind of important to also calculate what is the maximum in this interval you pay, right? So maximum you pay will be when x is equal to 5,000, correct? So let's calculate. So that is equal to 0 0.1 times 5,000, which is 500, correct? So you pay 500 on the first 5,000 and balance you pay 20%. Does make sense to you? So the tax rate in this interval will be, you pay 500 on the first, right? And balance of 20%. That means 20% is 0 0.2. And that is what you pay on everything earned more than 5,000. And on the first 5,000, you have already paid 500. Does it make sense to you? That is how you create your equation. Correct? So that is your second slab. Now, so we had this first one, the second one. And now, if it is more than 30,000, that means the x value is more than 30,000. In that case, the tax bracket is increased. And now you are paying 40%. So it is 40%, which is 0 0.4, on the earnings more than 30,000, correct? Now, what was the maximum did you pay on this? So you need to calculate maximum here also. So let's do the calculation for max when x is equals to uh, 30,000. So substituting 30,000 here, we get 0 0.2 times 30,000 minus 5,000, correct, plus 500, which is equal to 0 0.2 times 25,000 plus 500, correct? So uh, that is 5,500, correct? So we get 5,500. So this amount, we have already paid 5,500 here. So that is the amount which you pay, right? Sometimes it is also important to simplify these expressions. You could write like this also, or you could simplify them. So, so it's a good idea to even simplify these uh, expressions and then uh, write down your answers. So if I want to simplify this, I can write this as 0.4x minus uh, 4 times 3 is 12, right? So we get minus uh, 0 0.1 billion degrees 1, so 12,000. Correct? So 12,000 plus 5,500. So when you take away, you get what? You get uh, 0 0.4x minus uh, 6,500, right? So taking away this much, you get 6,500. So that could be a simplified form. So you could actually write this in the simplified form also. Right? Similarly, 
I could write sim simplified form here also. I could write this as equal to, let me just uh, fill it up here with less space. We have 0.2x and when I multiply this by 5000, it becomes uh, 5 times 2 uh, as uh, 10 and then one decimal goes, so 1000, correct? So when we take away 1000 from 500, we are left with minus 500, so we get minus 500, clear? So well, that gives us the functions basically. So let me rewrite the answer here. So the tax rate now can be written as three piece function, right? So let me write three piece function. So the first piece here is 0.1x and here x is between the interval from 0 to 5000, clear? The next text bracket is in the interval when x is between 5000 to 30,000 and then the equation which we came up with is 0 0.2 x minus 500 and that is when x is from 5000 x is greater than 5000 but x is less than 30,000. I should have written in one line but since there is less space I am writing like this. Okay. The last bracket here is 0.4x minus 65,000, 6,500 when, uh, so let's rewrite here, and this bracket is for x which is greater than, uh, so 30,000 will be included in the second bracket, 30,000, so when x is greater than 30,000. Is it clear to you? So that is how we are going to write the tax rates. Now the second part of this question is find the tax for 80,000. So let's calculate. So 80,000 means last bracket, correct? So it is equal to 0 0.4 times 80,000 minus 6,500, correct? So, so one zero cancels, so we get 32,000 minus 6500 using our sim simplified form and when you do that you get this as equals to so two zeros and this will be five borrowed from 31 gives us 25 correct so that is the so many dollars so our answer is in dollars the tax will be 25500 so that is how we are going to answer this question. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.